Hello! Long time no speak. Well, probably like two, three months to be precise. But um, yeah, we're playing Pokemon Snakewood and I've completely forgotten what we were doing. So let's ask this guy. Why hello? Uh, hi Asha. <laughs> is there a prison in East Hoenn? There is. There's the Maximum Security Vault, which used to be the Weather Institute until the Four Horsemen took it over. How do you know all this? I was stuck on the rocks for a long time. I've gathered a good current knowledge of Hoenn. Right. Can you drop me off in that prison? Of course, but I'll have to ask another favour. Please go down to the lower floors and fix the service elevators. I can't get anywhere without them. Okay. So now we're up to speed. Let's have a look at what our team used to look like. Oh god, everyone's... I don't remember leaving them in this state. Oh, we can't surf. But we do have Dragonite 2, which is actually Dragoon. Shiny Aerodactyl. Jeff, of course. Hombeast, Gyarados, and of course, leading up the front, who has fainted, Claydor, who was a starter, but he's currently dead, so hopefully we can find something to heal, once we jump down, SS Cangrejo, I'm pretty sure that means something in Spanish, so yeah, I had a spell of uh, COVID and exams, which really, really set me back in Kind of, it didn't put me off recording, but there was a lot of stuff to catch up on. Uh, work, life, uh, catching up with exams, then doing the exams, which I passed, you'll be happy to know. But um, yeah, everything just became a, it kind of escaped me a little bit, but um, we're back. That's the important thing. Were there elevators last time? There was one that was broken, I think. God, it feels like we should remember, and I probably would remember if I'd have done this like a week after the last episode, but... Oh god, this is gonna be a real problem. I hope everyone is looking forward to Christmas. I am. I get to travel, which is, uh... Ooh, heal! Which is, uh, a bit of a scary thing, and, like, exciting thing at the same time. I literally haven't been on a plane for, like... Well, feels like five years, but it's probably only like 18 months. But yeah, I'm going to Ireland for Christmas to go and see family, who I haven't seen for actually five years. Um, here's the the engine that we had to fix the last time. Huh. I guess we don't have to do anything there. I really hope everyone's got everything organized and you guys aren't last minute shoppers. I had all of my stuff done by November. I got that paycheck and I was like, yo, I am not waiting around. Everything ordered online, eBay, Amazon, sorted. Everything does seem a little bit familiar, but like not familiar enough that I can recognize everything. We just wasted our time down here. Wasn't there an elevator? It was, it was here. This elevator has no electrical supply. It might work if the power was reactivated. What do we need to do with the power then? Okay, so I ventured around this place for god knows how long. And the only thing I can think of doing... Not that one. Go to Lynette's PC. And do we... I could have sworn we had a Magnemite. Do we not have a Magnemite? Hmm... Okay, because my thought was it was going to be something really stupid. Like just getting a Magnemite and then it might have a move. I could have sworn I caught one. But yeah, let's try that out. Then it might have a move because it's like literally the only Pokemon we can catch in here. There you are, buddy. Level 30 as well. So you could actually be useful. What can we use on you that won't kill you? Psybeam? I can't remember if we have Ultra Balls or what. That is an probably acceptable amount. Thundershock. Thundershock was exactly what I was hoping you'd have. Because it might be one of those where you can now use it as an outside of battle move. Oh, and we caught it. First time, easy. 
Pokeballs are overpowered, or maybe Magnemite's just way easier to catch than I can remember. I never really used Magnemite. Did anyone? <laughs> and now we have acquired Mr. Magnemite. Maybe, just maybe. Let's see if we can get some electricity into it. Magnemite used Thundershock. I knew it. I knew it. Electricity coursed through the old elevator, returning it to full power. Oh, and now we have to go down. Oh, new area. I'm scared. What does this say? Whatever this sign used to say, it's been obliterated by a large rusty brown stain. Ah, oh, lovely. And this is where we could really do with like Magnemite actually having levels. Oh, do not tell me this is some sort of maze that we might have just passed the first time. I mean, okay. Oh, there's gonna be someone or something. There's a lot of rooms. I'm guessing a lot of dead ends. Yep. Oh my god. It, like, this game was made so long ago, but it's still, like, even now, just one of the most confusing things possible. We're going to have to go all around the outside, aren't we? There's a teleporter. Which could be useless. This warp panel requires a key to unlock. Oh my god. This is a full-on, full-on maze. Someone was keeping a diary on this computer. Read it. Day one, everything is going very well. I have to say, I never thought wind and powered submarine would work, but I'm favorably impressed. Rhino seems of excellent quality too. Day 15, I can't quite escape the feeling that the submarine is a bit confining. Still, I suppose that it's to be expected on a little research submarine. I think I'll go and stretch my legs now. Day 22, I think someone in the submarine has turned against me. I found my equipment smashed to pieces this morning, and several other scientists have found the same. Something's not right here. Day 37. I don't know what's going on anymore. Jeff didn't survive. Oh no, Jeff. <laughs> that little egg. Oh no. <laughs> Jeff didn't survive the night. And I don't think Percival... What a name. Percival. Can last much longer. When will the game stop? Day 56. Rhino... A33I HVO3KO Usher people HVO6 67 dying at the foot of slash foot foot slash two three four seven five target eliminated. Oh, so is Rhino like a system? Hey, this computer has a username and password on it. Memorize the login details. Tap the use. Oh, we need to get, what? what? Logged in as U House. Accessing submarine data. Critical failure. Personnel neutralized. Oxygen two days remaining. Cargo 100%. Rhino 230% capacity. Cake stocks low. Okay. That doesn't explain a lot, though, you know? Right, so the key definitely isn't on this floor. It was just something about system eliminating targets. I don't really know. What is there here? A ditto. Okay. I'll take a ditto. We haven't got you. And as a Pokemon trainer, we need to catch them all. So we will try. Never mind. Let's try and get another ditto. <laughs> about an ancient power for you. Yes, okay. And then you transform. Which is actually better for us, because then we can Psybeam. Very nice. That's an okay territory, right? It's, oh, you might self-destruct. Which means a great ball is the best one we have as well. One shake. Two shake. Three shake. God. I'm not sure if it's like my memory being bad, but I'm pretty sure Pokemon weren't this good the last time. Oh, Pokeballs, sorry. Pokeballs weren't that good the last time. 
Oh well, that's in the PC. Or is it? Do I have it? Oops. Oh, I do have you. Okay, so now you're just weak as fuck. Um, I might have some rage candy bars or something to level you up. And we still need the key for this, which I just can't find. This walk panel requires a key. There is no way. There is no way. And does that take... Th that does not just take us back up to the room. Thank you, the elevator seems to be running now if we ever meet again. I doubt I'll be in my office now. I can move around the submarine. Here, I'll drop you off in the fore tree. Thanks. See you around, Usher. All that. Literally all of that. Just to get back. Oh my god, that took so long to try and figure out. And we just needed a ditto. Hmm. This game slowly gives me... Oh, I just... I don't even know what to say anymore. Right, we need you. So you go there. We can go here. Uh, I don't think anyone needed a heal, but let's just do it just in case. And on we go. My guard is so down, just from playing like other games. Oh, let me guess, they got rid of the, rid of the ladders. Because of zombies? Oh no. The battle zombie slashed wildly at Killian with her sword. Zombies with sword. I can I can see why you got rid of the ladders. That's just a weird ass reskin. <laughs> Electa bugs. Steel? Maybe? Oh, we got the Omni Boost, though. Maybe you're just a bug type. Maybe it is just a really, really straightforward play on words. Straightforward in this game really hasn't worked out so far. Psybeam does enough, but Psychic is meant to be... Or is it not very effective against bugs? Maybe bug is super effective against... Oh my god! <laughs> the more I ponder with this game, the more it just tries to piss me off. Yes, crit. Come on. So what type were you? I d can't remember. Jeff gained 677. Grim Reaper. I don't know what that might be. But Dragonite 2 is up for the challenge. Unless it's a nice type. Then you're definitely not. Oh, okay. Scyther. Grim Reaper. You know what, that makes a lot more sense than I thought it would. Sword Stance is absolutely terrifying. You could sweep my whole team. You're faster as well. Oh dear. Slash is gonna hurt a lot. Slash is... Oh! We can take a couple hits. And light screen going down is a saviour. Headbutt. Why would you... Did you just give me the win? I mean, thank you, but <laughs> that didn't make much sense. You should have just slashed and tried to crit. The battle zombie was defeated. Do you turn to Ash? Oh, why shouldn't you be crumbling to dust? The battle zombie slashed wildly at Killian with her sword. Uh, okay, you battle zombies are obviously a little tougher than the usual kind. Okay, so they don't die. Pomeg berries. Sure. Oh, you are a big boy. Okay. Claydol. Are you just a regular water type? I cannot remember. That's useless, though. One more. Ah. Lovely. It's nice and easy. 
Well, not nice and easy, but Jeff 44. I have missed Pokemon music, man. The battle zombie brandished its fists. Yeah, just keep backing off. So do we have to go the back way to the weather tower? What's this guy saying? I'm Larry the Looter. I've looted so much stuff, I've got plenty to spare. Take a look at my wares and see if there's anything you want. Alright. Ultra Balls is an absolute must. And then Hyper Potions. Nope. Always useful. But just take my money, man. Some revives really wouldn't hurt either. Oh my god, we're gonna have no more money after this. And... Yeah. Yeah, repels. <laughs> Alright, so I guess weather tower? Oh, there's gonna be a lot of battles here. This is gonna be the whole episode in itself. But, Miasma, if you're still fire, that is such a cooler looking skin than the original. Ancient power. Sunny day, very nice. Ancient power, don't miss. Omni boost, maybe. Maybe? Yes! Okay. It's not like we needed it, but I feel like you're gonna zombie liver, and... You know, it's just going to piss me off. Oh no! Okay. Two hits and you're down. The Omni Boost was wasted. Who's going to be their uh, Master Inform Master? It dropped something. HMO fuck, we can fly? Hmm. Please don't be. Help me. This used to be my weather institute. But these monsters took it over to hold some took it over to hold some hostage here. If you've come this far into East Hoenn, you must be strong. That's why I ask you, please get rid of these monsters for me. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean I need content. <laughs> you know pass. Battles will be slashed. Time to fight. Do we have any more? We have one ancient power. Sword stance is always the most terrifying thing. And you're faster, which isn't a surprise for a clay doll, but the fact you are faster than um Ooh. Ooh. And we're f wait uh, uh, Hold on a second. The mechanics are starting to confuse me. <laughs> No, you no pass. But I do pass. And is this a free heal? It's a bit. Yes. That just means the battles are going to be absolute ass. Is there anyone that will be any use? I feel like the short answer is no. I mean, Home Beast just isn't good. And we need some electricity variety. So I feel like we could just try and Rage Candy Bar Magnemite as much as possible. We'll see how many we have. And then just go ham, I guess. Ah, so it took one Rage Candy Bar for him to evolve. <laughs> Which is good. The stat boost is going to be very well needed. And we need a decent electric type. You can't evolve into Magnezone. But Magneton will do for now. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay. So I gave a couple levels to Dragonite 2 and Magneton is level 47. Because we just had a ridiculous amount of rage candy bars that we built up that I don't pay attention to. So uh yeah, hopefully they'll come to use in these battles. Mino pass? Oh no, you just wanna throw fists. Okay. You wanna run hands, bro? I'll show you. Gorlax. Okay. That's new. 
Hopefully you aren't as annoying. Yeah, you're going to be really annoying. Keep on hurting yourself, please. I need a crit. And hurt yourself. Block. Oh, we can't escape. I thought that was blocking my move. I was like, okay. That would have meant I only had self-destruct. Do not rest. This is extremely annoying. Right, you know what? Fine. We're gonna self-destruct. It's fine. Because we got the bed right next to us. And that doesn't kill you. <laughs> I know you're bulky, but come on, man. Oh yeah, Dragonite 2 learned some moves. Fire Pump and Draco Fury. Why does that have eight? I mean, I think it's meant to be as strong as Flamethrower. I'm sorry, what? If you woke up and frickin' rested immediately, I'd have lost my mind. But thank god you didn't. So I can keep my sanity for like a, at least another five minutes. The battle zombie was defeated. Yay. And then back over to heal. Get Clado rested up. After he literally just gave Snorlax an explosion to the face and he still survived. Like what the hell? Oh, you're here. You know pass. Yeah. They're at least getting a bit of vocabulary now. Before it was just very... Okay! But now... Miasma. Level 38? You just, you just dropped levels. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Does that hurt? A little bit, and it could burn. So you must die, like, quickly. Please. Omni boost. Right off the bat, hell yeah. Defense, yes. Speed, yes. Special attack, yes. Special defense, yes. Another one. Because now we're faster. Give us a second Omni boost. Hmm? No. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, Gleese, hello. Ah, oh, hello, guys. Good to see you again. You can't fool me, Gleese. You're not on my side at all, are you? That's inconvenient. You know far too much. I shall have to defeat you and bring you into my master. Forget it. I came here for one reason and one reason only. To free Meteor's daughter. And if you choose to get in my way. It'll be you who goes down. Fu fu fu. You've never actually seen Meteor's daughter, have you? What? Fu fu. You'll see. Now let's see if you can match your words with power. Every episode in this series, we get the hardest battle of the series. And he has five Pokemon. And we have Claydol out front. Against a ghost type. Curse? Might be okay for now. You don't have the, s the Sneasel. Alicia does. And that ain't bad. Can we get one more off? No. Hyper Potion. Oh, that's such a good strat. That is such a good strat. And now we're going to get afflicted by the curse. We're not getting an Omni boost, so we are going to have to switch out because you're dead next time. Jesus. Um, it would be useful. Magneton. Let's give you a go. Nightshade. That shouldn't hurt. It did more than I thought it was going to. That's normal, that's normal. This is our strongest electric move. And that's the only thing that can affect you, so... God, one more of them and we're done. But you're done. Okay, nice. Good. Quill Shark. You're probably... Magneton's probably the best one, but you might just be too slow. Oh, no. This is where the AIDS begins, boys. And girls. 
Oh, first time hit. Super effective. You're a little tanky. I guess you evolve from Quillfish. Like, that's just off the back guess, giving a Quill. And I completely missed that, but goddamn, I want one. You're cool as hell. But you're also dead as hell. And Alakazam, we don't have a ghost type. But if you go down, we can try and self-destruct. How much power does Tri-Attack have? 80. I can, yeah, we can, we can deal with that. 80. We don't outspeed, but calm mine. He is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. But try attack. Oh, yes. That's alright. Future sight. See, you're stacking up. But you're also going to die. Like, very soon. Unless you hyper potion, which you probably will, because who doesn't in this game? <gasps> oh. My luck is incredible. Maybe maybe it's just from passing the exam a couple of days ago. But my luck is just absolutely... Everything's looking up for me. It's amazing. It's a Viper. This is another one that we could self-destruct if needs be. But for now, try attack. And we outspeed. Hello. So we could paralyze, burn, or freeze. Which we do. Oh my god. Come on. I mean, this paralyzes us, doesn't it? Which electric type being paralyzed? Like, I don't like it. Oh. This is us down, isn't it? Yeah. Thought so. It's fine, though. It's fine. No one panic. I said, no one panic. It's one Pokemon down. It's about to be two, because I fully plan on self-destructing here. Watch it, no effect. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> For a brief second, I was like, you're not a ghost, are you? <laughs> 670. And Jeff keeps on getting experience in this, but... Jeff doesn't get any action. He needs blood. Face leech. I remember being insanely fast. But if I also remember rightly, your defense was absolute ass. And Jeff is a tank. Hit with recoil. Which you have poison fang, which would be super effective against Jeff. So is this a gift of a of a fight or what? Hell yeah. Eighteen eighty-seven. Level forty-five. Jeff is trying to learn explosion. Hmm. I feel like soft boiled, we we need to make Jeff an absolute weapon, and the only way we can properly do that is by getting rid of any healing, any defensive boost whatsoever. Ha! Ha! That took more out of me than I expected. Oh, that was meant to be like a gasp. Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> You've defeated me this time. I suppose you'll want some information, some truth. Well, there's none to be found. Though, if you wish, you can take me to his daughter. Oh, it's an egg. So Misha's daughter was just an egg. The four horsemen imprisoned me here, because even now, unborn, I'm a powerful psychic. Oh, please tell me. <laughs> We're gonna get her on the team. I could have called for help from anywhere, but here. The thunderstorm interferes with my abilities. Oh, okay. So what's your name? What's her name? Oh, never mind then. Anyways, I'm going to take you back to Meteor. The four horsemen are gone now, and if I bring you back to him, I think he might just stop his destructive rampage. You used too many long words for me. I'm going to sleep. Talk about ungrateful. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we head back to Meteor then? That seemed a little too straightforward for my liking. Like, was it just me, or 
Is that a little too easy? Is this guy going to give us anything? I knew you could do it. I can rest now. No, nothing. Ungrateful. Well, I think that's an alright time to uh, finish up this episode. That's kind of weird. I guess we have to go and see Meteor? Or maybe he comes and finds us if we just carry on? I'm not entirely sure. But that is going to do it for now, guys. First episode back. Not going to be the longest, I don't think. I mean, when I edit it. But, yeah, I'm back. That's the important thing. This might be the uh, last time you hear from me before Christmas. So Merry Christmas. I will try and upload in between the new year. I am travelling, so please bear that in mind. But, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a good one. Peace.